Aloha, it's Tani here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make squid luau. Squid luau is a favorite Hawaiian dish. It goes great with lomi salmon, kalua pork, and poi. It consists of simple and interchangeable ingredients. Don't let that mustard green look deceive you, because this dish is ono. Here are the ingredients. As I've mentioned before, the ingredients can be switched out based on your preference. Instead of squid, you can use chicken, beef, or octopus. If you have the frozen luau leaves, you can skip the leaves preparation part. First, cut the stems off from the leaves. It is optional to add the stems. To prep the stems, make sure to take off the fibrous parts. Using a paring knife from the bottom of the stem, make a shallow cut enough to peel back the fibrous part. Peel till you reach the bottom. You don't need to peel it all the way off because you'll cut it off in the end. After all sides have been peeled, cut off the top and bottom of the stems. Then chop the rest up into smaller pieces. Set all of the stems aside. After the leaves and stems have been prepped, wash the leaves. Layer a couple of the leaves together and roll it up. Chop it up into small strips. Then go back and cut it up into smaller pieces. By cutting the leaves up into smaller pieces, it allows the leaves to break down easier when you cook them. Next is to blanch or cook the leaves. In a pot, add in about four to five cups of water or enough to cook the leaves. Bring the water to a boil, then add in the Hawaiian salt and luau leaves. Keep pushing the leaves down into the water so you can add in all of the leaves. After they have been added, bring it to a simmer, cover it, and let it cook for an hour to an hour and a half. Be sure to cook them thoroughly so you don't get that itchy throat. While the leaves are cooking, I'll show you how to clean and cut the squid. If you are using a different ingredient than fresh squid, you can skip this part. To clean the squid, there is a longer tentacle than the rest. This is the feeler tentacle. You can take it off since it's very small, or you can leave it as part of the tentacles. Grab right above the head of the squid and grip part of the tube. Pull or tug until part of its innards come out, which should also have the ink sac. Remove the squid's cartilage, which looks like a long piece of plastic. It should easily slide out. You can take off the outer skin of the tube, or don't, to keep that purple color. I like to take off the skin because the squid will be a lot tenderer and less chewy. Scrape the skin until a part comes off. Then you can peel it all off easily from there. Next, take off the flaps of the squid by easily ripping it off from the tube. Set aside those flaps. Then slide your finger down the outside of the tube with a good amount of pressure to get out any remaining guts. Flip the tube inside out to thoroughly clean out any other guts or membranes. Then flip it outside again. Next, cut right below the eyes of the squid. Check to make sure the beak or mouth of the squid isn't part of the bottom half. If it is, simply remove it from the tentacles. Now, discard the head. You can now slice up the tube to get that classic calamari rings. If you are using a bigger squid, cut it up into smaller bite-sized pieces. Set aside the clean squid. After the leaves have been cooked, drain them in a colander. Press down on the leaves to squeeze out any liquids. Set aside the leaves. Next, melt the butter in a pot. Add in the onions. 
and squid. And saute it until the onions are translucent. Add in the leaves. Sugar. Salt. And coconut milk. Mix it until everything has come together nicely. Bring it to a simmer, cover it, and let it cook for another 30 minutes, stirring it every so often. After 30 minutes, serve it hot and enjoy this onalicious squid luau. If you enjoyed this recipe, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification on YouTube, like and follow the Facebook page so you don't miss any upcoming recipes. Mahalo for all the support and great feedback.